The players on those teams in, in that era shared a very special bond. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podium Hall of Famer Lou Brock to share a few words on Kurt Flood. Thank you much for the kind introduction uh, to the nominees. Congratulations on today. And wonderful, may the good Lord bless you henceforth. I'm supposed to be, speak two minutes on Kurt Flood. Uh, I think I'll use all of them. And just talk about Kurt. I played alongside Kurt uh, in left field. He was perhaps equal to Willie Mays defensively as an outfielder. I used to marvel at the fact that the way he could go up against the wall and make a catch and his hands would turn a certain way. And every time I tried that, I would hurt my wrist. So I went to him one day and said, Kurt, just tell me how to do all of this. And he did, but I never got a gold glove. But Kurt and all of the things that he did, he actually paved the way for Major League Baseball players and players of other sports. 45 years ago, Kurt took a stand against baseball and he was out of the game for 45 years. He couldn't get back because the lawsuit and many things that was against him. This year, 45 years ago, he has now been welcomed back into baseball. What we see here today, your presence, is evidence through the St. Louis Cardinals that they have now welcomed Kurt Flood back home to be with us. To be with us. And keep in mind, you can be invited back home, but you're not with us. Today is symbolic of that day. The St. Louis Cardinals in their generosity has invited Kurt Flood back home. And forevermore, Kurt Flood will be with us. Thank you.